Hello, we are ASML Flex. Today we will be briefly going over the contents of our Senior Design 2 Expo poster. The goal of our project was to determine the best damping solution to reduce vibrational transmissibility in the flexure system, along with to develop a dynamic computer model of said system using CAD simulations and Lagrange modeling. The testing block diagram below is meant to show the flow of useful information through our flexure testing process. Mm -hmm. The sensor is used to detect the motions of the blade and to convert that motion into electrical signals. The amplifier circuits is used to control the vibration intensity of the voice cord. When the current passes into the voice cord, we create a force and that force causes the magnet to move forward. The first proposed system is the combined elastomeric damping method. This method combines six 1-inch diameter sorbethane pads located underneath the mating between the inner and outer flexure, along with 3M damping tape along the flexure blades and other critical areas of vibration. Second proposed system is the magnetic damping system. The magnetic damping system dissipates energy using eddy currents. The magnetic damper allows for some adjustability by changing the gap between the magnets and plate. This adjustability allows for the system to be easily be set up and optimized. The magnetic damping setup can be seen on the top right, and the frequency response of the system can be seen on the plot on the bottom right. The final proposed systems are the passive piezoelectric shunt damping and active piezoelectric communication system. These systems use the piezoelectric effect to transform the strain energy from the vibration of the flexure blades into electric energy, then for the respective aforementioned methods, dissipate the energy through heat and oppose the motion of the blade by sensing the vibration using one of the piezo plates on the blade. The normalized Fourier transform plots for both methods can be found in the bottom right corner. On the left hand side, we have the frequency response plots for each of our damping methods along with the undamped method. On the right hand side, we have the average percent reduction of transmissibility for each of the damping methods and the average dissipation time for the undamped and damping methods. To dynamically model the system, it was simulated using SOLIDWORKS frequency studies to determine the motion of the lowest modes of vibration of the flexures. After obtaining the motion of these low frequency modes, the system was modeled in two degrees of freedom using Lagrange modeling. The equation of motion for this model can be seen here and allows one to edit the critical dimensions of the flexure to quickly determine the effects on the lowest undamped natural frequency of the flexure. This concludes our brief discussion of our Senior Design 2 Expo poster. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to contact us at the email addresses shown at the top of this poster. Thank you for your time.